Whoa, what's that? Today's video is on Lil Nas X. Now, I'm gonna make a video, you dig, explaining why I ain't dropped no type of news in a minute. But right now, I have to go in on this Lil Nas X dig. And as y'all could tell, this is a rant because I usually plan things out and I'm working on a lot of stuff that I got planned out. But did y'all see this shit, bruh? Did y'all see Lil Nas X dig? Lil Nas fucking X day. Can you tell me what the fuck has he done to have a day, a day awarded to him by Atlanta? Now understand, they say, oh, it's the first transgender mayor in this, that, and the third. But whenever a black mayor is elected, do he go around giving rappers a day? Do they even give black people a day? Today is black day. Or uh, the day that we celebrate the first black mayor, or the second black mayor, or the first black governor. You understand what I'm saying right now? And for some of you losers, calm myself down. For some of you losers who think you hating on him because he gay. Sit your immature ass down. Sit your immature ass down. This is purely facts that I'm about to spit to you. This don't have nothing to do with sexuality as in the reason I am upset. I'm upset because these people are trying to promote sexuality, not because of his sexuality, goddammit. So sit your ass down. And guess what? I also have a problem with any sex being taught in schools or on television. Just because somebody go from Child Network to Child Network, PBS, Nickelodeon, and Disney promoting sex, goddammit, that does not mean that they need a day awarded to them. Because think about it. What has he done outside of go to children's uh, television programs and wherever children at? Y'all, y'all understand this. It ain't like he going around. Is he going around making, uh, telling young, uh, homosexual black men, oh, wear a condom and practice safe sex? Is he going around doing that? I'm not seeing that. All I see him doing is going around masquerading and selling sex. It's me, the guy with the colorful clothes, kids. That way, when they go on TV looking for the guy with the colorful clothes, they're going to see him twerking on other males. And I don't care if it's another girl, a female with the colorful hair who influenced your kid. They're going to go look for that girl with the colorful hair if you think it's about sexuality. And they're going to see that girl twerking. And I got a problem with both of them. You understand me? I'm calming my little self down. I'm trying to be real clear about this. I don't care if it's the new it rapper with the blue hair, the female that's rapping, but she can go on PBS and talk to your kids or wherever your kids at from school to school. When them kids go to look her up in her music because she told them a good story of how she overcame the odds, they going to see her twerking or talking about guns or talking about stripping or talking about material materialism, what they need to buy, God damn it! And y'all know I'm telling the truth. You are witnessing a rebel network as I sit up here and rant. So understand, now that we got that clear that this is not about him being gay, I have a problem with anybody promoting sex. If it's a fucking rapper and he going around talking about dope this and all of that and uh being a womanizer and all of that, I got a problem with that. If that rapper is going to schools, God damn it. If that rapper just making his little music and adults buy it, that's they goddamn business. But when that rapper is going from school to school, y'all, when that rapper on PBS and all of that crap, I don't care what speech he made at that school. Oh, man, that was a good speech. I don't care if he went on PBS and said A, B, C, D and all of that. When them kids go to look up that colorful person, what they going to see, y'all? They going to see, shoot them up, bang, bang, or buy these rims, buy these shoes, kill each other for it. Or they going to hear from that stripper female, you understand me, who's sitting up there. I be twerking for cash just to buy some Louis Vuitton and Gucci and make all of them rich. That's what they going to see and see her twerking. Just like when they see this clown who had a day awarded to him for promoting sex. Because when they go look for the colorful jacket, smiling guy, they going to see him twerking. Working on males in a goddamn prison. Y'all don't understand that they promoting sex. And I wish somebody come on here talking about his cousin gay.
is because this is wrong and they're attacking your kids. Not just black boys, black females. Why you think all of the rappers got colorful hair? You're not doing a fucking mat? That's because they want to attract, attract your children. It ain't about you because you grown. You're going to do what you want, God damn it. By now. You dig? You're going to say, oh, you just hate celebrity and you gonna cut off the video but what about your fucking kid calm down what about your fucking kid y'all when they go cut that shit on and they influenced by it when they influenced by it and don't tell me they not influenced by it because i grew up on this planet when lil wayne got uh, braids and all of that, we all went and got some including me god damn it cause he was my favorite rapper god damn it and now I can't stand his guts, but that's another story with his coon, his coon ass. But you are witnessing the Rebel Network as I stay on topic with this rant. But this young man, did he, did he hand out food to the pole, y'all? Because give me the evidence, bro. Did he go down there and fucking teach calculus or something to kids? Did he build community centers all across the globe, y'all? What did he do, God damn it, to deserve an entire day outside of, oh, well, a gay male was elected, so God damn it, uh, it's time to celebrate gays in Atlanta. You understand what I'm saying? And this is a black city, so they know who they're attacking. Y'all better do the math before you hop on around here and attack me. You hate no Lil Nas X because he gay. Now, what else you going to say? Because I already proved that I have a problem with sex being promoted to my children in any fashion. And that includes fucking sexual education. Why the hell am I going to trust a teacher who could barely teach my kid calculus to teach him about sex? I teach him, God damn it. You understand what I'm saying? Because guess what? When they first came out with sexual education and shit, them Republican mothers and everybody was on them people back trying to keep that out of schools. That's why when the books came out, you see how the drawing is, and they don't barely even talk about any intercourse. And whatever they do, they basically name in the parts. Do you know what this part does? Do you know the reproductive system? They don't even talk about the act of pleasure in the intercourse. You understand me? You understand me? But they could parade somebody around our kids all day. And think about it. I saw this stupid commercial, by the way, that he was in. What did he have on, people? A big, bright suit, huh? To attract your kid. You don't see that he riding on a supposed uh, merry-go-round thing that's going up and down. You don't know subliminal messaging that makes it look like the man is riding something that some expletive, some expletive that I don't want to say. My bad for the stuttering part you did because I know how some of y'all is with the English language. You only probably listen to Amanda Seals and Ronald, uh, what that boy, Roland Martin, them because they can speak it right to you. But let me continue. He had on a bright fucking suit to attract your kid, him and Elton John. And by the way, did you see Elton John on fucking, uh, what's the name of that, Sesame Street? Back in them days when he was hot, by the way. Now, when he was old and a legend, I'm talking about when he was hot, goddamn. Did you see him everywhere promoting it? at private schools, white schools. Did you see Elton John say, hi, I'm, I'm a homosexual. And what the, what do your kid need to be educated by the American government about sexuality for y'all? Think about it, y'all. What do your kids need to be pro educated about homosexuality about, y'all? from the American government when they have problems even teaching black history, the history of your people. They have a problem with that being taught, but they have no problem trying to implement homosexuality into the classrooms on top of all the media it's already in, goddammit. it. But I know some of you little simple ones, you're still sitting right there. It's because he black. You must not like gays. You must hate gay. Sit your lame ass down because you ain't been listening. I have a problem with it, period. These is for kids, y'all. This is our kids being attacked. You understand me? That's why I'm about to make a video about this terrible show, uh, Big 50 or some, some terrible movie I forced myself to watch, y'all. 
Y'all still falling for these BMF ass movies like where they go up there and say, oh, the story of how they came up. Oh, at first I was poor and then blah, blah, blah. But then I started selling drugs and the music come on and they buying everything. Y'all ain't tired of that. Y'all gonna let them run the same game on our churn that they ran on us? Because they ran it on me too. Listening to Lil Wayne, got some braids, drinking, smoking. Man, this is what it is, huh? You gonna let them run that same game on our kids? For real? Oh, look how BMF did it, boy. And think about this. The movies ain't shit but a goddamn glamour glamorization of all the wrong things. It's... Dog, the whole movie of every hood movie is the glamorization of the bullshit. And then at the end of the movie, what happens, y'all? Tell me what the fuck happens at the end of the movie. Oh, man, Kane had moved to Atlanta. But how long do you see that? Do you see Kane progress? Oh, all you understand is Kane moved to Atlanta and started being good. They don't show you, oh, Kane started uh, teaching the youth center and all of that. They don't show you the glamorization of that, of him going back in the community or something. Look, man, after Kane was on the streets, he went back. He gave back to the community. Now he got to, you know, did they say they show all of that? No, think about another one, Belly. Oh, soon as me and, uh, what his name, Buns got on, Buns had this fat ass crib and all of that bullshit. Do y'all tie two and two together with all of these dumb hood movies that spend the whole time? Think about it on Minutes to Society, y'all. What's the part you remember about that? When, when old dog said, what you say about my mama is so classic that it's mimicked in parody movies, y'all. When he said, what you say about my mama? But how many people remember at the end old dog them laid up there and got shot up or whatever? You understand me? Who died? I think old dog. I don't even remember. But they got shot up at the end and shit. And that little kid had to witness it. How many people talk about the end of the movie or at the end when, uh... DMX actually reformed himself on Belly. How long after the movie did we get to see that the glamorization of the person reforming themselves? But we see the glamorization of them doing nothing but destructive shit. You understand? How come the music don't come on and then uh, DMX laid up there. No, Buns, that's his name on the movie. And then Buns laid up there and started opening up community centers all across the globe. Did they show the music and shit playing then? And on this terrible movie, Big 50, I don't know if y'all saw that terrible shit. They goes in a store, y'all. And I know I'm digressing from the little Nas lame ass day that America is glamorizing, but they go in the store. The white woman thought they were stealing. The white woman said, I, um, uh, ma'am, we don't accept checks and all kind of shit, like demoralizing them, like totally making them look like idiots. And look, look what Remy Ma do, the one, she plays the character of Big 50, this a female. She pour out all the money on the floor and say, do this look like we need a check? As if that's to be glamorized. You idiot, you about to spend money with people who don't even want you in they store. People who think you a peasant, people who thought you was gonna write out a bounce check but you gonna sit up there and look what she said at the end y'all we damn near bought out that whole store is this what we still fucking letting these people get away with we gonna let them do this to our kids y'all i looked at this phone and they said i've been talking for 13 motherfucking minutes that tell y'all how really passionate i am and to let you know i stopped washing my motherfucking dishes y'all just to walk up here and do this because i've been working on something to tell y'all why i ain't been around for a minute but as you can tell i was instantaneously outraged by this young man being awarded for nothing can y'all tell me how many hit songs he got? He's practically a one-hit wonder. Do y'all know these American companies have made specials on people who have a one-hit wonder? People who are one-hit wonders where they show vanilla ice and all of these people and they clown them? This young man is known for one song. Was this song something life-changing, y'all? Was it something about save the children, feed the hungry, black empowerment, people empowerment at least? 
anything, even gay empowerment. No, it was about an old town road, which is nothing but subliminal sexual innuendos and all of that crap in it. Was this a life changing song for this young man to be paraded all across your kid's school everywhere and all on PBS, Blues Clues, every goddamn where? Was that enough, y'all? He has changed the world. Huh? The colorful guy in the suit who your kid gonna go and look up and see him fucking dancing on men. Just like the female um, who going they going to look her ass up after they give a speech. What's that girl name from Love and Hip Hop? I can't even think of her terrible ass name. Or even Cardi B, any of them. But she ain't black, so I ain't going to use her. But even if it's a female or male, any of them clowns, y'all, parading around our kids is going to cause our kids to look them up and be influenced by... In be influenced by nothing but dumb shit, bruh. And I'm going to wrap it up because I'm starting to get mad. Y'all know how I go to stumbling over shit, bruh. But once again, I'm working on shit. <laughs> working on a video to let y'all know what's been popping with me. I had to get myself together. And I'm going to tell you the whole shit, watch. But uh, this shit outraged me, man. Once again, y'all holler at me.